Kita bosa saya sih Kwanu kwa piti saya sih Kita buya bosa saya sih Kuzi na pita tuzi na omega tuzi na alfa saya sih The Science Foundation College in Namavu kwe jinja Ngo ingi la kilomite mm. So minuli ya dene boarding Eli haba wala naba lenzi Ku olevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate elevo tusomisa sciences zoka Omwana mletu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanya bi singa o Kwa ku 0 musambu 5 satu Chinana Abili musambu 0 muenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. At A level, we teach sciences only. At all level, we teach arts and sciences. Today, we are going to study chemical equilibrium. Deals with reversible reactions. For example, nitrogen, gas, reacts with the hydrogenic gas to form ammonium gas. When ammonium gas is heated to decompose to form hydrogen and nitrogen, such a reaction is said to be reversible. In a closed container, nitrogen will react with the hydrogen to form ammonia. Ammonia will decompose to form hydrogen and nitrogen. And this is such a time when the rate of formation of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen is equal to the rate of decomposition of ammonia to form hydrogen and nitrogen. At equilibria, the concentration of nitrogen, hydrogen, and ammonia will remain constant despite the fact that the reaction is still taking place. Nitrogen is reacting with the hydrogen to form ammonia and the ammonia is decomposing to form hydrogen and nitrogen. The equilibrium position is expressed by equilibrium constant Kc, where Kc is equal to the concentration of ammonia raised to power 2 over the concentration of nitrogen times the concentration of hydrogen raised to power 3. Generally, for reversible reaction, a moles of A plus B moles of B is equal to C moles of C plus D moles of D. Kc is equal to concentration of C raised to power C times the concentration of D raised to power D over the concentration of A raised to power A times the concentration of B raised to power D. Then units of Kc are obtained by the principle of dimension. From the previous expression, concentration of ammonia is in moles, moles per decimeter cubed squared over concentration of nitrogen, which is moles per decimeter cubed over concentration of hydrogen, which is moles per decimeter cubed raised to power 3. So this is to power 4. When you take it up, it becomes moles per decimeter cubed minus 4, which is moles to power negative 2 decimeter cubed to power 6. Example 1. Right case expression is and determine the units for the following reversible equation means the first one KC will be equal to NO2 into the concentration of NO into the concentration of O2 to power a half units will be equal to moles per decimeter cubed over 
moles per decimeter cubed over moles per decimeter cubed to power a half. This one will go, then you get mole to power negative a half, decimeter to power three over, over two. The second one, KC, is equal to concentration of HI squared over concentration of H2 into concentration of I, E2, this is equal to moles per decimeter cubed squared over moles per decimeter cubed into moles per decimeter cubed. So when this one will close with this and you have no no units. Here, KC will be equal to concentration of iron by iron tetroxide into concentration of hydrogen to power 4 over concentration of iron to power 3 times concentration of steam to power 4 so this will be equal to moles per decimeter cubed into moles per decimeter cubed to power 4 over moles per decimeter cubed to power 3 into moles per decimeter cubed to power 4. So this one will go. So you will get moles per negative 2 decimeter to power 6. Those will be the units. Implication of KC, the higher the KC, the higher the yield. For instance, nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen to form ammonia. The KC will be equal to concentration of ammonia raised to power 2 over concentration of nitrogen times the concentration of hydrogen raised to power 3. So the higher the KC, the more ammonia produced in this reaction. Then the application of KC, application of KC to determine, determine the concentration is, concentration is at equilibrium, equilibrium, to determine the concentration is at equilibrium. Example one, nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen according to the equation nitrogen plus hydrogen is equal to ammonia. One mole of nitrogen was reacted with two moles of hydrogen. At equilibrium, 0.2 moles of ammonia formed. Calculate case, what do we do? We write our, our equation once more plus three H2 form was 2NH3. Initially, initially, we have one mole, we have two mole, we have no ammonia. At equilibrium, the product 0 0.2 moles of ammonia formed. So if 0 0.2 moles of ammonia form, how many moles of nitrogen reacted? Moles, moles of nitrogen reacted. We said that one mole of nitrogen forms two moles 
of ammonia NH3 therefore 0 0.2 moles of ammonia will require 1 times 0 0.2 over 2 which is equal to 0 0.1 therefore moles of nitrogen remaining will be equal to 1 which was originally there minus 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 moles of nitrogen remained again more, we find the moles of hydrogen which reacted to find the moles of hydrogen which remained moles of hydrogen that reacted we see that two moles of ammonia require three moles of hydrogen three mol two moles of ammonia to form three moles of hydrogen would have reacted therefore 0.2 moles of ammonia will require three times 0.2 over two which is equal to 0.3 therefore moles of hydrogen remained remained will be equal to, to 2 minus 0 0.3 which is equal to 1.7 so 1.7 moles remain our KC is equal to NH3 squared over N2 into H2 cubed which will be equal to we only use condition is at equilibrium at equilibrium so we have 0 0.2 squared over 0 0.9 times 1.7 to power 3 which is equal to 0 0.009 moles moles to power negative 2 decimeter to power 6 example 2 nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen according to the equation nitrogen plus hydrogen is equal to ammonia one mole of nitrogen was reacted with two moles of hydrogen at equilibrium 1.4 moles of hydrogen remained calculate calculate kc first we have to find the moles of ammonia formed also how to find the moles of nitrogen remaining moles moles of hydrogen reacted will be equal to 2 minus 1.4 which is equal to 0 0.6 moles then moles of ammonia moles of ammonia formed 3 moles of hydrogen form from this equation to moles of ammonia therefore 0 0.6 moles of hydrogen formed 2 times 0 0.6 over 3 which is 0 0.3 which is equal to 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 moles of ammonia were formed then the moles of nitrogen which reacted moles of nitrogen reacted we see that from this equation 3 moles of hydrogen 
react with one mole of nitrogen. Therefore, 0.6 moles of hydrogen react with one times 0.6 over three, which is equal to 0.2 moles of nitrogen reacted. Then moles of nitrogen remains moles of nitrogen remain D is equal to 1 minus 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.8. But KC is equal to concentration of ammonia squared over concentration of nitrogen over concentration of hydrogen cubed which will be equal to 0 0.4 squared over 0 0.8 times 1.4 cubed which is equal to 0 0.009 this will be per mole squared decimeter to power 6 Example 3, we are just rephrasing the equation. Nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen according to the equation nitrogen plus 3 moles of hydrogen is equal to 2 moles of ammonia. 1 mole of nitrogen was reacted with 2 moles of hydrogen. At equilibrium, 0 0.3 moles of nitrogen had reacted. Calculate, calculate. Again, write our equation nitrogen 2 plus 3 hydrogen 2 gas will give you 2 moles of ammonia. Initially, we have 1, we have 2, we don't have. This is initial. At equilibrium, you have told us 0 0.3 moles of nitrogen had reacted. So 0 0.3 react from 1, you get 0 0.7 remaining at equilibrium. From the equation, 1 mole of nitrogen react with 3 moles of hydrogen. 0 0.3 moles, 0 0.3 moles of nitrogen react with zero with the three times zero point three over one which is equal to zero point nine. Therefore models of hydrogen at equilibrium will be equal to two minus zero point nine which will be equal to one point one. So one point one more of hydrogen remained. Then moles, moles of ammonia formed. One mole of nitrogen, one mole of nitrogen formed two moles of ammonia. Therefore, 0.3 moles of nitrogen form two times 0 0.3 which is equal to 0 0.6 moles. So 0 0.6 moles of ammonia form. Our KC is equal to 0 0.6 squared over 0 0.7 times 1.1 cubed which is equal to our case is equal to the moles of ammonia formed squared over the moles of nitrogen over the moles of times the moles of hydrogen cubed, which is equal to, to 0 0.386 moles per mole squared decimeter to power 6.
example four, hydrogen reacts with iodine according to the equation, hydrogen plus iodine is equal to hydrogen iodide. A mixture of 0 0.8 moles of hydrogen and 0 0.6 moles of iodine we are allowed to react in a CLD tube at 450 degrees Celsius. At equilibrium, 0 0.2 moles of iodine reacted. 1. Write the expression for equilibrium constant, Kc. Kc will be equal to the moles of Hi. Hi squared over moles of H2 into moles of I2. So there is no units, no units because moles per decimeter squared over moles per decimeter times moles per decimeter will cancel. Calculate 2, calculate Kc. We have seen that hydrogen reacts with iodine to form to form 2 H I initially we have 0 0.8 we also have 0 0.6 we don't have hydrogen iodide at equilibrium, the told that 0 0.2 moles of iodine have reacted, so we remain with 0 0.4. When 0 0.2 moles react, we remain with 0 0.4. But one mole reacts with one mole. When 0 0.2 moles of iodine react, 0 0.2 moles of iodine will react. We remain with 0 0.6. When one mole reacts, two moles form. When 0 0.2 moles react, 0 0.4 moles form. Therefore, our case will be equal to 0 0.4 squared over 0 0.4 times 0 0.6, which will be equal to 0 0.4 over 0 0.6, which is equal to 0, which is equal to 4 over 6, which is equal to 2 over 3. Example 5, carbon monoxide reacts with steam according to the equation carbon monoxide plus steam you get carbon dioxide plus hydrogen. One, write the expression for Kc. Kc is equal to concentration of carbon dioxide into concentration of hydrogen over concentration of carbon monoxide times the concentration of steam. Then two equal moles of carbon monoxide and steam we are reacted in one liter vessel. When equilibrium was established, the vessel was defined to contain 37% carbon dioxide. Calculate the value of Kc. So carbon monoxide plus steam You get carbon dioxide gas plus hydrogen gas. Initially, in the, initially we have one mole, one mole we don't have. Suppose X moles react, X moles have reacted, remain with one minus X. Here you get 1 minus x. When x react, you get x. And x it implies that total moles will be equal to 1 minus x plus 1 minus x plus x plus x, which is equal to 2. It implies that concentration of carbon dioxide is equal to x. And uh, x over 2 is equal to 26.7 over 100 percent, which is equal to 0 
0.54 when this is 0.54 this is 0 0.54 1 minus 0 0.54 becomes 0 0.46 even this one becomes 0 0.46 and therefore our case will be equal to 0 0.54 into 0 0.54 over 0 0.46 into 0 0.46 which is equal to 1 point Four. Example 6, phosphorus 5 chloride decomposes at high temperature as follows. When 40.2 grams of phosphorus 5 chloride was placed in a 5 liter vessel and heated, 4.2 grams of chlorine was formed at equilibrium. Calculate. First, we calculate. The, more, the RFM of PCL5, which is equal to 31 plus 35.4 times 5, which is equal to 208. So, in, initial models, initial models of PCL5 will be equal to 40.2 over 208 which is equal to 0 0.193 Initial concentration Initial concentration of PCL5 is equal to 0 0.193 over the volume 4.5 liters and is equal to 0 0.043. Then, models of chlorine will be equal to 4.2 over the FM of chlorine, which is 35.4 times 2. This is equal to 0 0.013 moles of chlorine is equal to mass of chlorine, which is 4.2 over the FM of chlorine, which is 35.4 times 2, which is equal to 0 0.06. Then the concentration of chlorine at equilibrium is equal to 0 0.06 over 4.5, which is equal to 0 0.1013. Then from our equation, P Cl5 decompose it to give P PCL3 plus CL2 initially the concentration of phosphorus was 0 0.043 at equilibrium the concentration of chlorine is 0 0.013 the concentration of chlorine is equal to the concentration of phosphorus free chloride, which is 0 0.013. When one mole form, one mole decompose. When 0 0.03 form, 0 0.03 free decompose, you remain with 0 0.030 moles of phosphorus at equilibrium. The concentration of phosphorus 5 chloride at equilibrium is 0 0.03. Zero. The concentration of phosphorus 3 chloride is 0 0.013 at equilibrium. Therefore, our KC is equal to PCL3 times CL2 
over PCL5 which is equal to 0 0.01 of this squared because the models of this is the same way models this over 0 0.0 which is equal to 0 0.056 moles per decimeter cubed. Ha 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 ha!